replacing the screws for the haptic displays on EOS Apex hardware. This is for the haptic display above the keyboard, as well as the haptic displays above the motor faders. For Apex 5, 10, and 20, there are one, two, or four sets of motor faders, respectively. As we're doing this, we are replacing the metal screws with nylon screws. These nylon screws, we should take the regular screws out one at a time um, as to not disrupt the placement of the actual haptic display. So we'll take out the first uh, screw here, and then we'll place in the first nylon screw. We wanna make sure we're doing this hand tight uh, and just have a, uh, we do not want to over tighten this at all. Uh, so we're going in there, we don't wanna strip the screw and we don't want uh, to be putting too much pressure on the haptic display itself. We'll then take a second screw down the bottom right corner. Uh, we wanna just space it out again. We don't wanna do it one at a time and we wanna take out uh, in opposite corners, kind of work our way around the device. Again, we want a snug fit. We do not want to over tighten this at all. We'll then be taking on the bottom left-hand corner. With the haptic display that's above the actual keypad, that has six screws, and you can do that in any order. Just make sure you take your time and work kind of uh, around the device. Lastly, there is going to be one screw in the top right-hand corner, um, which may be hard to see with my hands here. However, uh, know that you can unplug that USB cable if it's in the way. If you do unplug the USB cable there, just make sure it gets replugged back in after the screw is in place. You may see that the actual uh, control panel itself is kind of uh, shimming back and forth in this video. You can brace it uh, with the other hand there or have a partner holding on to it, uh, just so it doesn't wiggle too much. And there you go. That is how you change out the screws on your haptic displays with the new nylons.